Welcome to Japanese 101 lesson 8, I think. It's dates and times and from and to. Uh, that's what I thought we should do today. Seemed like a reasonable thing to do, sort of a breakaway from the sort of really crazy grammatical, not crazy, but like the really purely grammatical topics that we've discussed so far. I thought, let's do something a little bit lighter, something a little bit, you know, easier to process. But still, just as important, you should probably know how to say, you know, dates, times, and you should say from and to. The thing and the worst that. Yeah, so this is um, also mostly a sort of, you have to learn a bunch of stuff by heart, um, which is always kind of annoying, but, you know, might as well. Let's get it done. What do you say? So, um, first of all, what we're going to talk about, crazy grammatical lessons. They're fun too. We're going to be back to a more grammar heavy topic by next week. Um, that's for sure. So first we need to think about how do you say dates and times in Japanese? And for that, we should probably figure out a bunch of um, things in English first, as always. So how do we say it in English? Ego de. Um, you would, obviously there's two systems, <laughs> arguably there's a right one and a wrong one, um, but most, most reasonable, I'm gonna annoy all the Americans here, most reasonable people would write a date or time, or a date, um, like, uh, day, <laughs> month, okay, and if you think otherwise, by the way, yes, you, I'm sorry, you're just wrong, and year. How many ways do I need to learn to count, you know? Too many. Way too many. <laughs> You're right, place done. Love 98. So, um, there's basically this, and some people think this is acceptable as well. And, you know, that's okay. That's, that's okay. If some people think that. We're gonna let, we're gonna let him have it. We're gonna, it's gonna be fine, okay? Um, so, you know, basically, no, that's not okay. <laughs> it's not okay! Basically, those are the two ways that m most people express dates and time, or dates, at this point we're just talking about dates. Uh, most people express dates in the Western world. It's the only acceptable format. Yeah, so that's a good format too. That's basically already then the Japanese format, right? So, um, you have day, month, year, or month, day, year. I'm disappointed. Yes, well, we'll talk about that. So in the Western world, I would say these are the most common. Um, let's say, let's put a big W here for the West, okay? Now in Japan, and I'll put a, I'll put um, the, the Nichi kanji here. That's the kanji for Japan, right? The sun. Um, in Japan, it's actually, um, and I'll, I'll write this down in a way where it makes sense. Um, in Japan, it will be usually in, in this order. You'll have four spaces for the year, and then you'll have the kanji for year, actually, which is nen, or toshi, depending on how you want to read it. Um, like this. Nen, right? So that's year. And then you'll have um, usually one or two spaces here for month. And then you'll have the kanji for month, just like this. And then you'll have, I'll make some space here, and then you'll have two more spaces, and then you have day. Which is hi, or nichi, depending on, you know, what it is, but, um, yeah, so, again, this is kanji for year, this is the kanji for month, and this is the kanji for day. And, um, while we're at it, Americans love our funny ways of expressing quantities, true. While we're at it, um, I'm just gonna show you these kanji in the dictionary, might as well, right? So if you look at any standard issue dictionary, <laughs> you'll see that um, year, you'll most easily find it if you type toshi. Toshi means year. Past tense primes, yeah, that's like, that's a different kind of usage of toshi. But the biggest thing right now is the kanji. So let's look at the kanji, right? So we have toshi and nen. Um, the reading that we're going to use more in dates is going to be nen. Um, so, for example, the year 2000 is um, nisen nen. Nisen nen. Nisen nen. Nisen is 2000 and nen is year. Nisen nen. Um, so, you have this, right? Nen. And the writing is fairly simple. Um, I encourage you to learn this kanji. Maybe write it down right now. 
or something or make a note later. There's a very good kanji to know if you don't already know it. Maybe you already know it. Um, the next one is uh, nen. Yeah. Nen. Tsuki. So the next one is um, moon, month. Um, so you know this kanji maybe from moon. Tsuki. So tsuki means moon, usually. Um, the reading that we're going to use more often with um, dates is once again the onyomi, which is going to be getsu or gatsu. How do I use nen? Nihon dokuji no, eto, ah, kore, gan, gengo, ah, chigao, nan de shake? This was like, gengo or something. Demo arimas. Yeah, there's a gengo, so ne, gengo. Yeah, there's the, the specific Japanese ones, but I don't think we're gonna go too deep into those. Maybe we can explain it another time. We can explain it at HXH. Nen, oh, <laughs> well, you know. Um, just got to read those chapters again, again, I guess. So we have, uh, tsuki. So this is the kanji for moon or month. Eh! Moon no hen! Hey! Welcome, everyone. I don't speak, um, Spanish or languages like that, but, uh, welcome people from Rockin. And thank you for the follow. I'm just Lord Ater Proker Taro... Wait, what is that? Teroski, Teroski, hello, 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 we come raid. Yes, I I noticed. Hello, everyone, this is crazy. This is the second raid already. Hitting, yeah, unbelievable. Welcome, everyone. We're in the middle of a Japanese lesson. I can't even keep up. Uh, thanks for the follows. Um, Dako Vado, oh gosh, Dako, I'm bad at reading names. Dako, thanks, and PK Stars. Reminds me of the mother games. Rockin sent us. Yes, I thought he did. Hello, hello, and thanks for the bit, Tofi. Hi. <laughs> You look very handsome. Oh, thank you. Hablo un poco español. That's nice. Yeah, you can talk um, Spanish with those guys if you want. Well, actually, don't because I don't speak Spanish, so <laughs> I'll feel left out. That's very sad. Uh, puppy Willow. Uh, gee, okay. <laughs> Listen, we might as well. Um, we might as well do a quick interruption. Hello, everyone. Hello, welcome. Do we have a hundred viewers? Is that true? Really? That's crazy. Uh, you choose to relocate one of the finest remaining urban centers. Oh, how nice. When do I get to... City 17. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'll just... <laughs> Hello, bro. I'm a native Spanish learning Japanese from an English speaker. Yes. Well, you know, and I'm a native German speaker. It's a big mess, but isn't that what makes it beautiful? Nihongo is the universal language here. So desu ne. Eto, koko wa... Nihongo shika tsujinai mono ne. We only speak... Can you... Can I say... <laughs> what does that mean? Hi, Rockin sends your greeting. Hey, Rockin. How are you doing? Quick Spanish lesson. Yeah. A lot of language in my head. It's a big mess, isn't it? Uh, thanks for follow Peppy Willow and... Bastia Gaming and Alox and... Katochida? Am I saying that right? Nihongo de sekai yo tsunagoze. So ne, tsunagoze! Tsunagimasho! Minna wo nihongo de... Hi, hi. Oh, that's nice of you to say that I'm nice. I appreciate that. I feel like I'm missing some chat messages because there's so much going on right now, but I thought I'd just flip over here real quick since it's such a... <laughs> it's such a mess! Right now. The worst language here right now is English, though. Ah, well. I like English. I'll always like English. It's the language that basically connects me to the most people, and I appreciate it for that. Yes, we're doing a Japanese lesson right now, um, series called Japanese 101 that I host here on Game Grammar. But, can you say Marcelo? Uh, Akasha i konoselo. What does that mean? It means something like Akasha. That sounds like buy something. Don't say ay ay ay. Ay ay ay! What are, pe what are people making me say? All right. Let's get back to the lesson. So, we were learning to say dates and times in Japanese. So for that, we're looking at a few kanji. First of all, we learned um, year, but now we're looking at month or moon. Tsuki, katsu. How did you meet Rokin? Um, I guess you could say he met me because, well, um, <laughs> I don't know. We met each other. I uh, signed up. They were Game Grammar posted out on Twitter last year that they needed a new narrator, and um, you know I. I, um, what's it called? I messaged them, so here I am. Or I emailed them. So, this is the kanji for moon or month. 
which is the second one in order. And then the third and last one for the standard date is just day, which is which would be nichi. So hi bi ka nichi jitsu. So this one has the most readings. Um, once again, you reached out, you applied. Yeah, basically, right? Sent all sent my resume. I was like, hey, I have N2, do you do you want me? I sent one of my private streams as well. Not private, I one of my streams on my other channel. He be ka. This is also funny because he be ka also means is actually a word. <laughs> he be ka. If you look up, uh, I don't know. This is a tangent, but um, he be ka. I was no, sorry, it's jibika. Close enough, jibika. Jibika is actually a um, otolorinol, an ear, nose, and throat department doctor. Anyways, this is a total tangent. I just thought of that. Um, he be ka. So, once again, for dates, we're mostly going to use the onyomi, which is nichi or jitsu. Um, so there we go. That's the basic structure of how you make Japanese dates. You have these four spaces here for a year, like for example. If we make an example, and uh, we'll go over how to read all the different ones, but if we make an example, the year 2000, we would say 2000, which is nisen. So this would be um, ni. <laughs> That's wrong. Uh, nisen, uh, nisen So, uh, ne again, which is this, right? Nen, nisen nen, and then we could do any month. How about we do the first, right? Ichigatsu, first month. Either you just do one or zero one. It doesn't really matter. Kind of depends on if you're filling out a form. Then it'd probably be zero one. Um, ichigatsu. Um, so here we have ichi. And then gatsu, which is like this, right? Ga ichigatsu. And then we could have something like the third. And the third has like a special reading, which would be mikka. 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 There we go. Srelan, did you notice that um, Aranagi's names under the calendar words are Koimitsukihi? <laughs> Did I ever note? I'm not sure if I noticed that. Uh, eh, that's interesting. I never thought about that. <laughs> Why Japanese people? I know. I didn't know about that special if it's the third. Yeah, so we're going to look at all of those in a bit. First of all, um, then the year luckily you don't have to know there or for the year itself there aren't really exceptions as much so this is just one example which was nisennen which is the year 2000 so luckily for years you don't really have exceptions so um you can pick any year so for example the year i was born is um 1969 uh, sorry 1996 haha <laughs> 69 1996 is when i was born so, um, how would we say this? Well, it's 1000, right? So it'd be, um, sen, right? Sen, it starts with sen, uh, because it's a thousand. 69, I know, amazing. So it starts with sen, that's for sure, which is the thousand. And then it's 900, which is, so if you, if you don't already know numbers, then this is probably going to be confusing for you. But I'm just assuming that you know, like, basic counting, that you've learned, like, basic counting, like, ichi ni san shi, um, moving forward up, up to the the tens, which is like um, ju, niju, sanju, etc., and then um, hyaku, nihyaku, uh, sanbyaku, goki, uh, sanbyaku, uh, etc., etc., kunen, kyunen, kyunen, uh, nine, nine years would be still kyunen, kyunen kan, so ne, kyunen kan. So here we would have um, sen, a thousand, and then kyu hyaku. Um, so Q, Q is 9, right? Q, Hyaku, which is 900. Hyaku, Q, Hyaku, 900. So here, 1,900. Wow, my handwriting is as, as easily as legible as ever, isn't it? This is 900. Q, Hyaku, and then Q, Ju, obviously 90, right? Q, Ju, again the Q. Um, Q 
90. What's the difference between 1000 and 1000? Kurama san, konnichiwa. So,、um, for some things, like when you're counting an amount of things, you would sometimes say, like, or when, when you're like saying the number, you would say something like 1000.、Um, it kind of depends.、Uh, let me think. So, you would say something like,、um, yeah, I would say something like 1000 mai, which would be a thousand pieces, a thousand like sheets of something. It's just troubling to say myself. What is 1GG9? Listen, listen, okay? It's, an, it's a 9. Don't, uh, don't, don't be being smart here. Today's lesson seems very basic. Yeah, so today we're going just dates and times, and then we're also going to learn like from to Karamade.、Uh, but I think it's a, good, it's a good thing to review because, you know, I keep forgetting. Situations where Hyaku would become Byaku. Yeah, so this was one of them. Uh, uh, this is not one of them, but 300 would be one of them. So 300 would be Sambyaku. Sambyaku. And there's even Pyaku, like、um, Ropyaku for 600. Look, Kiwi, recognizing one instead of a seven. Well, it's easy because sevens have this stupid line here that we invented to differentiate ones from sevens. Because if you, you know, if you have a seven, you have like, you have like an extra line. So that people are like, oh, that's a seven because it has an extra line. It actually really annoys me when people complain that my ones and sevens look the same because my sevens always have a stupid extra line. <laughs> And I, I don't understand the complaint. All you need is like a little bit of context. Like, look for a seven somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, um, 90. This is 90. And now we just need six. Uh, 96. Uh, wow. What a weird, ro. Roku. 96. And then, then, okay, so this is really simple. This is actually the easy part. We just add, then. 96. As an example, right? My birth, my birth year. What a, what a nice year it was. Math teacher actually forced me to change how I write seven. There you go. It's over 9,000. What am I late? Just a little. So, um, you have, it, it's a bit of a mess if you write it all out like this. Hey, Meepo. Um, 1996 年 uh, 1996. But, Hey, ten ten, four twenty, four twenty. I would light one up if I had one for you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I think that's a European thing.、Uh, which one? Oh, the, the seven? Yeah, maybe. But once again, Europeans may just be right. So, the takeaway here is that、um, Nen is not that difficult.、Um, great. It's not what I wanted. <laughs> the takeaway is Nen is not that difficult. You just have this kanji. That you put after the number. And it's basically always. Nen, if it's a year, right? Nen, that's, that's about it.、Um, so this, this one's really easy. Now, let's get to one that's a little bit more difficult. And for that, I'll probably grab.、Um, Frika, hey, how are you doing? For that, I'll grab a text tool because it'll make it a little bit easier because I can write a little bit more. So we'll do font size 24. How's that? It's not bad. Maybe a little bit larger. Font size 36. There we go. And we'll use.、Um, we'll use maru. Maru, maru mono. So obviously, for months, we have 12 of them. Did you see that? That was 12. That's how 12 works. Anyways, we have 12 months. So we start with the first.、Um, Which would be Ichigatsu. So we have、um, uh, Ichigatsu. And I'll just make like two tabs here Ichigatsu. There you go. And then we have、um, Nigatsu. That's just the second. The good thing about Japanese months. Can I not? Oh, it's like the, 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 the line space is messed up, isn't it?、Um, need to set this to auto. Auto. Now, here we go. Nigatsu, which is the second. Again, luckily, this is easy because we silly Europeans and English speakers and whatnot,、uh, using our silly systems, you know.、Um, Why is that? There, now it works. Using our silly systems left over from the Romans and whatever. Hey, legend, Refusal. Thank you for the follow. Foro, arigato gozaimasu. Reins by only two digits and indicate dates. Is there such a matter in English as well?、Um, yes. Yes, there is. So you would say like、um, 98 or something like that. Like 
Yeah, in the year of 98 or something like that. Tashkani, so, so, so. Um, we silly Europeans, English speakers, we use all these complicated months like March. Uh, no, year nine. Um, hmm? Uh, year 1999, yeah, yeah, like that. So, like the year 99. Is, am I misunderstanding what you mean? Month names in English. Yeah, and then every language, if you learn French, you have to learn them again. Sangatsu. Sangatsu. So the third is Sangatsu, March. So we have January, February, March, and now April is... April is a bit different, is Shigatsu. So, um, Shigatsu. I'll mark this in red, because might as well, right? Um... Can we... Red this up? Shigatsu. Oops. Shigatsu. So... April is a little bit different. Shigatsu. Because you have uh, Yon is also Shi. So you can't say Yongatsu, it's actually Shigatsu. Uh, number five. Which is May, which is my birth month. We're talking a little about, about my birthday, I guess. Um, is Gogatsu. Very simple. Gogatsu. Gogatsu. This is simple again. And then um, you have June, which is Rokugatsu. Also sim uh, simple. Rokugatsu. Roku... Rokugatsu. And then we have another example. Shigatsu wa Kimi no Uso. Yeah, everyone is like... Shigatsu wa Kimi no Uso. I like referring to anime titles. Yeah, you can probably remember like... Sangatsu no Raiyon, Shigatsu no Kimi no Uso. All of these have, li have uh, month names in them. Getting Higurashi vibes here. Why? They're talking about months in there as well. So that would be the um, June. And then you have... Uh, Yet another exception, exception, Shichigatsu. This one's a little bit different again. Shichigatsu, Shichigatsu. So I'll make this red as well. Um, by the way, I encourage you to just write this down like once and then try and like review it a few times and eventually you'll probably remember it quite easily, to be honest. Um, so make some space here. And we're at eight, so that's August. So you have uh, Hachigatsu, that's also standard. 8月 8月 And then we have yet another exam uh, exception which would be 9月 Um Ooh, this isn't working out Uh, wait, I should probably use spaces Wait, wait a minute Usually things should all line up if it's Japanese, so I'm a bit unsure why Yeah, this is a bit weird here there, now it's lining up. X <laughs> nanagatsu. So, ne. Is it not actually? Never mind. Uh, red letter chi in the name. Which one? Oh, the red letter chi. Oh, yeah, I guess. Um, so we have kugatsu. This is another exam uh, exception, which is from ku. Q, Q. So sometimes Q9 is Q. You'll see this actually repeated a few times. Sometimes 9 is read as Q. Um, Kugatsu. Okay. Uh, next is um, Jugatsu. Just 10. Which is also simple. Uh, I'll make. Where am I? <laughs> Let's do it like this. And then we can do this. Jugatsu. This is standard again. Juichigatsu. Um, ju. Let's make this white. <laughs> December is. Shi what is that? Shiso. Konbanwa. Ayafumi san, konbanwa. Um, ju. Juichigatsu. 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 And last but not least, Ashiwasu. Shiwasu. I, I should know that, but kind of right now it's <laughs> Junigatsu. Hey, Ate is here too. Everyone's here. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Junigatsu. Junigatsu. So those are all standard. So you can really see that month are in, months aren't hard. I learned that from Azumanga Dayo. Yeah. One of the Japanese traditional month names. Yeah, there is a bunch, aren't, isn't there? 
、うん、他にもこういろいろあって、しし、なんかこう、Actually, the reason I know that there's different ones is because of Hunter x Hunter, because someone brought up Hunter x Hunter earlier and they have like a bunch of the month names in there as well. シワス。そうね。これ。I don't even know how to read this, to be honest. Old calendar names. 旧暦。あ、これ。まあ、そのままじゃん。旧暦。旧の旧、歴の歴。歴史の歴。Is that 歴史 ?Yeah. Okay, 旧暦。Japanese old. Looney Solar Calendar. Looney Solar is nice. The teacher was running. Damn. People run in December. She was. Shogatsu. So, ne, Shogatsu. There's Shogatsu as well, but that one's kind of different. Arimasu. Alright, l so you can tell the month readings are not that much of an issue, okay? Just remember, Shigatsu, Shichigatsu, and Kugatsu. Those are the tricky ones. And now the dates.、Um, for the dates, I think I will cheat and copy. Because it's gonna take too long if I don't. So that we can just go through them.、Uh, what happens if I just do this? Not bad. That works.、Um, so I have a copy here. So luckily, this will all kind of work out. So we space this out a little bit. All right. So the dates can be yet a little bit more tricky. So, as we go through the dates, cheater, I know. Well, it saves you time, right? So, you shouldn't be the ones complaining. Memorize flashback. <laughs> Memorize. Damn. So, the dates are the trickiest part because they also have a bunch of annoying exceptions. But luckily, we already have、um, a nice list here that, by the way, I'm copying from. I'm just copying most of this stuff from t a i k e m s article here, or t a i k e m however you want to say it. So, right, right away, the first one is already the problematic, a problem child,、um, which is Tsuitachi. So, the first day of the month is not called Ichinichi. Ichinichi actually means one day or a full day, something like that.、Um, but Tsuitachi is the first day of the month. Okay, so remember.、Um, remember.、Mm, B.、Um, If you read this as Ichinichi, that's one day. Which is a bit peculiar. Ichinichi, right?、Uh, Ichinichi would be one day. Ichinichi, or a full day or something. If you read it as Tsuitachi, you mean the first day of the month. Those are two different things. And then we have the second day of the month is, you know, Betsuni Ichinichi demo Tsujimasu ke done. So, ne, ma. 通じますけどね。だが、こう、えっ、ー、とあなん、なんつうか、えっ、ー、と、儀式的には、1日の方が、多分、えっ、ー、と、まあ、正しいですね。Like, formally, I guess formally speaking, you should say 1日。It's a bit, it's a bit better. えっ、ー、と、今日も1日頑張るぞい。<笑>頑張るぞい。そうね。<笑> And then、uh, the next one isn't as bad because you have、um, a pretty standard reading. You have f u t s u k a The ka is from ippi という人もいます I think I've heard that. Yeah, in like business settings, some people do say like ippi. I, I have heard that, but yeah, it's a little bit of a weird one. Shigatsu ippi. <laughs> Shigatsu ippi.、Um, April 1st. So, futsuka is not as bad because you know that two, hopefully you know, two can be read as futatsu, right? So, the Chinese reading there is more like futa or futatsu. So, here you have、um, fu, futsuka, futsuka, which is, you know, different but still a little bit close. And the ka is just the, the hi kanji, which can be read ka as a counter for days. So, futsuka, the second day. And then the third day, mikka. So, maybe I'll make these like. I don't know, they're not like super uncommon, but they're also not like normal. So maybe let's make them this color. Yeah, I guess we'll make them this color. If I can hit it, yeah.、Uh, yokka, again, yokka, I, these are all like different, right? Yokka is like yon, but yonka sounds weird, so it changed it to yokka sound change, right? 
a little little thing going on here. There we go. Yokka. And then Itsuka. So Itsuka is actually standard, if you think about it, because Go has the reading of Itsutsu, where the Itsu part is the five and the Tsu part is the counter. So this is actually kind of a standard reading. We don't really change anything here. Same goes for um, Muika, because, well, no, not really. Muika is like, yet again, a little bit like non-standard. Yeah, Itsuka can also mean someday. So Itsuka, the fifth day of the month, or Itsuka, someday, are, they sound the same, can be a little bit confusing. Um, so I guess Muika, you could argue, is not quite standard, because um, usually Roku would be read as Mutsu, right? You have the, um, you have the small Tsu in there. So you get Muika. Um, Nanoka. Uh, again, not standard. Some people say, I think some people say Shichinichi. But, um, yeah, Nanoka. I think, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Nanoka. I'm still salty about Tsuitachi. <laughs> Don't be salty. Zida, SSBU. Thank you for the follow. Follow, arigatou gozaimasu. Uh, you have to go, sorry. Don't worry about it. Kinishinakte ewai. So um, you have uh, Nanoka, which is the seventh day of the month. You aim properly here, plop. It's again a little bit different. And then Yoka. So this is important here. Don't confuse Yoka and Yoka, okay? Yoka is the eight, uh, is number eight, and Yoka is number four. This is very important. They are very similar. So tricky here, so be careful. Yoka and Yoka. Um, so, let me also make this one kind of pinkish. Uh, Kokonoka. So, this is, I would say, standard again, because if you remember the um, Chinese reading of Q, it would be Kokonotsu, or Kokono something, right? Kokonotsu. Um, if, we, if we use the Tsu counter, it would be Kokonotsu. So, this would be actually the same, except instead of using the Tsu counter, we use the Ka for days. So, this is this is actually standard. Kokonotsu, uh, Kokonoka. Um, ninth day of the month. And then Toka. Uh, once again, To is a standard reading of the kanji Ju. So here, there is nothing really out of the ordinary. And then here, starting with the 11th, it gets a little bit easier, luckily. Lucky for us, things actually do get easier for once. Because we have um, the 15th, uh, sorry, we have the 11th, which is just Ju Ichi Nichi. So very simple, right? Nichi just day. And then from here on, we will actually say Nichi instead of Ka, okay? And except for, like, a, a few more exceptions that are coming up. Again, this is very annoying, but you just have to learn this. And I get this wrong still sometimes, uh, because it's just very annoying. Um, <laughs> so you have uh, 11日, 12日, 13日, 14日, and here we have another annoying one. Um, so I'll make this one, like, purplish. Should I make this one bright red? Maybe, I don't know. Um, because it's, yeah, it stands out, right? It's like, it breaks the chain of Nichis. So you have Ju Yokka. The 14th is Ju Yokka, not Ju Yon Nichi, right? That doesn't work. For some reason, I don't, I mean, they just, the Japanese were just like, ah, can't have that. Copy this. And delete this. Bam. Look at that. It's like a magic. Do we have space? Yes. Awesome. Now, if that isn't if that isn't a magic, then I don't know what a magic is or what is a magic. <laughs> Here we go. At least it's consistently annoying. <laughs> Yay. Um I think if I do this, yeah, there we go. <laughs> that one will show up as well. Cheater. I don't cheat. I never cheat. Sometimes I cheat. If it makes it easier. Conjugations are easier than this. We're going back to conjugations next week. Um, I think we're going to go back. Do you have a magic? I have tons of magic. I have all the magic. Um, so these are, again, these are normal. 16日, normal. 17日, kind of normal, right? Chichi is the normal conjugation of, or the normal version of Nana. Um, that's because Japanese has no conjugations. I mean, it kind of depends on your definition. I mean, I would say it has conjugations. Um, because conjugation, if you look up the definition of conjugation, it says, like, changing a word in uh, tense, person, 
mode or mood or something like that. So theoretically, changing the mood from being casual to polite is like an accurate description of conjugation. It's pronounced toka amari hitohi. Eh, maji? Toka amari hitohi. Toka amari hitohi. Tenth plus another day left over. So no. Nice haircut. Thank you. It's very efficient, isn't it? Looking fresh. Yeah. Um, so these are normal. Shichinichi, hachinichi, kunichi. Also somewhat normal. Hey, Semi, how are you doing? Um, kunichi is also somewhat normal, right? Um, and then, hatsuka. This one is difficult again, or different. Hatsuka. Suddenly we have hatsuka. No one knows why, but it's there. Uh, hatsuka. Just something to remember. Hatsuka, the 20th. These are normal. Uh, 21日, 22日, 23日, 24日. Here it is again, the weird one. Make that red. Um, 25日, 26日, 27日, 28日, 29日, 30日, uh, 30日, um, and then 31日, and that's it. Uh, 20歳, so, ne? They're similar to 20歳, which is 20 years old. It's the same sort of origin there. Whew! Wipe the sweat off your forehead real quick because we are done with the days and the months and the years. So theoretically using this, again, you need to learn this by heart. No, no, take a screenshot or take your own notes. Um, I'll also send the link here again if you want to read about it. Uh, this is the complete guide, right? Take hems. Just something to learn. It's very annoying, but you'll get there. Don't worry about it. I still mess it up sometimes when I say like, um, I sometimes say like, and I'm like, no, no, it's or, or I say like, um, I'm not quite sure if it's like, or or whatever. but it's, this is sort of the most standard way of saying it. And um, it's just something to learn. Uh, need to storm the Japanese parliament to change Hatsuka to 20日, 20日. So, ne, Hatsuka. Hmm, is is used the duration of one day while tsuitachi is used for the first of the month, right? Yes, that is correct. That is correct. Ichinichi is still used for like a single day, the duration of a day, or a full day, or something like that. Yogatsu yesterday. Listen, it happens. It happens. These are things that um that just happened to all of us. So, um I'm gonna delete it, okay? Take one last look and then we'll move on. Oh, misoka. Ah, so, ne? Um, New Year's Evening has a name as well. Oh, misoka is like New Year's Evening as well. Magic. It, there's a lot of magic this episode. Not gonna lie. Um, ototoi. I think, um, we, I think I could mention it, but maybe it's getting a bit too far. Maybe we'll talk about relative time markers another time. Like, um, I'm talking about kyo, ashita, Kino, Ototoi, um, Isakunichi, and Yojitsu, and, and all of these were like, well, they're all kind of the same family of words, but I don't think it will fit today because I've already like planned a lot more stuff to talk about as well. Okay, real quick. So that was, that was, um, dates. So you can now say something like, something like this, right? You can say something like, oops, and say something like, um, Nisen Kyunen, Nisen Kyunen. 2009年、12月。12月、えっと、14日。14日。Okay? And as it takes a little bit of time to get used to this, but, you know, you'll get used to it. It'll be fine. Now let's do, um, time, okay? Real quick. So we've done dates, right? Check mark. And now let's look at the times. Um, the counter for time is usually you have hours, and you have minutes and you have seconds, okay? Um, you have hours. Hours will be done with uh, ji or toki, but when you talk about a amount of hours, it will usually be read, um, <laughs> wow, it'll usually be read ji, ji. And you have minutes, minutes, which will be, um, Fung or bung, usually bung, actually. Uh, Ippung or fung, I guess. Fung or bung, I, it be either, it kind of depends. So it's fung, bung, depending on what the rest of it is, right? Fung, bung, 
Ippung, Nifung, etc. And you have minute, uh, seconds. Uh, seconds, which is Bjor. Um, uh, how was Bjor again? Bjor was the most complicated of them. <laughs> New Year's Eve. Yes, indeed. Um, Bjor looked kind of like... Ah, yeah, yeah. Bjor is like this. So Bjor has uh, this kanji, which is... This radical plus uh, sand, uh, plus short or skunai. This is bio, which is a second. Bio. There you go. Are there any consistencies to fum bun? Um, it's a bit weird. A pum also. Yeah, you have pun too sometimes. Tamani, so no pun. I feel like it's best to just learn it by heart as well. These are like really annoying. <laughs> Buell is what Dio says when he stops time. Really? <clears throat> Buell. Toki. When is Toki used? Toki is used in kind of different contexts, but do Toki is used as the word for time itself. Like, um, Toki. Like, time. Um, Toki o koeru is like to overcome time. Have you... Toki o kakeru shoujo is like a... Is, is the movie, right? So, the girl who leapt through time. Um, and then you have something like um, Toki doki means from time to time uh, Usually if you talk about hours Ji is used Toki can also be sort of a, um, a, a A marker for a point in time Kodomo no toki So ne kodomo no toki Second Second's kanji consists of uh, Grain and little Yeah basically Yeah you have um, What was this What was this radical again I keep forgetting It's not It's not Is it komugi hen? Mm, maybe. I'm not sure now. Or Mugi Hen. Yeah, Chiga. Nan desta? Ah, Nogi Hen. So, ne. Nogi Hen. Yeah, I keep forgetting the name of it. It doesn't matter, but yeah. Nogi Hen. This would be called Nogi Hen. Thanks, Axe. Um, so, you have seconds. So, hours, minutes, and seconds in this order. Um, you may have already noticed that in Japanese, if you say a time and date up to a second in, in precision, it will actually always be from the largest unit to the, to the lowest unit. It will start with year, month, day, hour, minute, second. That's the order. It will be actually like that. So from, from highest to lowest. All right. Now for the hours, um, we're going to have a few exceptions. So let's look at hours first. And then for minutes, we're going to have a few exceptions as well. Um, for hours, okay, you would have... Um, anything is kind of standard, except for hours. I think I'm just going to write down the exceptions, which makes it a bit easier. We'll have something with uh, G. G, okay. Um, the exceptions would be, so you have Ichiji, normal. Uh, Niji, normal. Sanji, normal. And then Yoji, this is the exception, okay. First exception is yoji, four o'clock. Yoji, like this. Yoji turns into, or yonji doesn't exist, but you have yoji instead. Yoji, first exception. More exceptions. Is that like um, a show? Traditional Japanese are called hitotsutoki, uh, futatsutoki. <laughs> Toki was used in that case. That's interesting. I feel like I'm always learning so much from just the input. It's an, uh, it's an anime. Oh, okay. So that's um, Yoji. Um, Goji, normal. Rokuji, normal. Shichiji, kind of an exception, I guess you could say. Shichi is kind of a standard reading for seven, but we can write it down just for good measure. So, um, Shichiji, seven o'clock. Okay, so we have shichi, shichiji, shichiji, seven o'clock. Nibyo kake, I think, really? Okay. And then we have uh, hachiji, normal, and kuji, which is, again, a little bit of an exception, nine o'clock. Um, kuji. Hachikuji. <laughs> kuji. But, you know, none of these are the end of the world. This is basically it. 
Um, these are all the ones that you need to remember for hours. The rest is normal. The rest is so again, ichiji, niji, sanji, yoji, uh, goji, rokuji, shichiji, hachiji, kuji. There is no. Uh, then you have juji, juichiji, ju niji, ju sanji. Um, and then you could say, well, usually people will stop at 12 and then use gozen and gogo, which means p.m. and a.m. Uh, or a.m. and p.m., right? So if you had um, gozen, gozen is in the morning, uh, gozen. And then you have um, gogo, which means p.m. Usually people will count in a 12 hour system. PM, yeah, so usually people in Japan will use a 12-hour system. That's kind of the, the common system is a 12-hour system using a prefix of gozen or gogo. So if I wanted to say 6 in the morning, I would say gozen rokuji. Gozen rokuji. 6 in the morning. 6 in the evening would be gogo rokuji. Gogo rokuji. So this is usually how people count. Um, you can say like ju uh, rokuji. That works. Um, people will understand it just fine. Most people don't use it though. Or, I mean, it's kind of hard to say most. This The, the standard is definitely a 12-hour system. But uh, yeah, you can also say like... And then it would be a ju yoji, I think. Not ju yonji. Sounds weird because that sounds weird. Reiji. Yes, they do. They will say reiji for midnight sometimes. Reiji. Um, reiji. Reiji. Shinya to yeah, Reiji, 12 o'clock, midnight, noon. I guess it can be noon as well. I've heard it more for midnight, to be able to be honest. Reiji. Please tell me you are crazy. <laughs> so there we go. That's um the hours, okay? Now let's look at the minutes. Today's gonna be a little bit of a longer episode, I think. Because we're covering a lot of uh, vocab. But I guess that's fine once in a while. Me your best. <laughs> It's a good song. So, minutes. The minutes are a little bit annoying. They have a little bit weird, ex they have some weird exceptions in there. Um, so, broadcast does are like 25, uh, 24 or something. Yeah, so, wait, they have 25. I'm, I'd have to, I don't really know. I don't know what that would be. Minutes. So, minutes are the annoying ones um, because they have like, a bunch of different versions. So, um, first off, Shomiyako, <gasps> Semi san, kakkoi, kakkoi yosugi. Ya, maji kakkoi, sugoi. Wa, yabai. <laughs> yeah, the 24 hour system is fine if you're writing texts. Semi san, sugoi. Eto, ya, Semi san, mitai na, kakkoi i hito ga, koko ni kuru no wa, sono, ya, metta ni, nai n desu kara. <laughs> ya, nan te yuka, koei de, えっと、これは何よりも声ですね。いつとも読む。Yeah, yeah, nan, so nanji can be read as itsu. But it's, I feel like most people, 多分、多分これ書いたらね、えっと、これ書いたら、その、ま、主の人は多分、何時と読んでしまうね。Game over, guys. I'm sorry, it's not possible. I'm just cool. True. Uh, minutes. So, um, we have a bunch of exceptions with minutes. First of all, we have one minute. Ippun. Right off the bat, we're starting with an exception here, which is um, Ippun, which is one minute, read as I, small to, and then Pung with a P sound, with a plosive. So, a um, Handakten. Ippun. Um, Nihun is normal. Hu, nihun. So nihun, um, just the normal hu sound. Nihun, and then we have sampun. So this is also a bit of an annoying one. Kind of, it sounds unintuitive actually. I think these are, if anything, these are the most unintuitive ones because you want to say sampun, but the reason why we usually don't say sampun is because sampun would be three parts or a a third. If you say a third, that would be sampun no ichi. And the minute would be sampun. This is sort of to keep those two separate. Because the same kanji, the same kanji 
bung or hung is also used for parts or splits of something. So usually sambung means like three parts. Yeah, divided into three parts. And then sampung would be three minutes. Sort of to keep that apart. And you'll see a similar pattern reported, um, repeated for the others. Uh, again with yonpung. Yonpung sounds a little bit unintuitive, but yeah. Yonpung. Actually, four minutes. Yonbung, four parts. Ippun is only the only one I can remember because Ichi always comes. Yeah, uh, for Ichi is very common. Um, and then you have Gofun. Gofun is normal. Gofun. And then you have Roppung. Roppung. Uh, kind of like Roppyaku for 600. Um, it turns into Roppung. Roppung, right? Ro. Uh, ro boom. Like this. See that I don't run out of space. And then we have um, for Hachi, for 8. So 7 is normal. 7 is Nanafun, Nanafun, uh, Nanafun, the standard. And then for 8, uh, we actually get uh, Hapung, Hapung, again with a plosive. Hapung, um, Hapung. Like this. Hapung. Yonfun tomo yomu kana. So ne, yonfun kamo ne. Yonfun. I feel like I've heard that too, yeah. Some, sometimes you might see yonfun. Um, and then the last one that's different would be juppun, uh, which is 10 minutes. Juppun. So you will also find sources that may say that can be read as jippun, and it can. Theoretically, but I'd say like at this point, uh, I think Yonghun is common or interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure, but like these ones, I always like. Um, I, I'm, I'm always like, I change my opinion because it's like I see both and then I can't like make out which one is actually common, but they're both used. Um, so yeah, Yonghun, I definitely hear Yonghun um, and Yonghun. I'm, I'm at this point, I'm not sure. Like, uh, like Clam and, and Daichan, I think, are native speakers anyway, so maybe you should take their word for it. But, I mean, both are used, so you're not going to be wrong either way. Uh, Juppung. Uh, this used to be Jippung, but um, where are the Bung? Yeah, so like, um, actually, I guess Bun doesn't show up that much because you have uh, Nifun, Gofun. Yeah, Bun doesn't show up that much. Bun is actually mostly for. Um, Bun is mostly for parts. Like, uh, nibun no ichi. That would be a half. One of two parts is a half. Juppun. Um, and that's it. Those are the exceptions for bun. Both okay. Yeah. Sambun. Um, sambun, again, sambun and sampun kind of exist to differentiate between three minutes and three parts of something. Um, so sambun is more like three parts, and sampun is more like three minutes. I guess you could say, like, I'm pretty sure some people may say like sanghun, but yeah. Um, for now, these work, so you can use these. And then eh, these these things are like kind of annoying, so you'll see. Now, luckily for us, for seconds, there is actually no exceptions as far as I'm aware, right? For me, the exceptions are to and go five, have fun. I'm just, I'm confused. So. Uh, lucky for us, okay. Lucky for us, Byo doesn't actually have exceptions, so, um... Uh, Ichi Byo, Ni Byo, San Byo, Go Byo, they're all the same. Byo is always Byo. Um... Which is a good time. This is always Byo. Seconds. Ichi Byo, Ni Byo, San Byo, Go Byo. Uh, I forgot, Yon Byo. I guess, they, yeah, Yon Byo, Go Byo, Rok Byo. I, would it be Ropyo? Rokubyo? Ropyo? See, now I'm not sure. There you go. Um, just wait. <sighs> I think. I think. It should be Rokubyo. I think it should be Rokubyo. So, ne? Rokubyo. It's more Byo, de sho? Um, it's, it's always Byo. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. Byo shouldn't have any exceptions. It should always be byo. Jubyo. Hmm. Hiragana ni dakten ga nai yo ni mieru. 
。そうね。今は、今は、つけておいた。はい。<笑> I forgot at first. 一時的には忘れていた。<笑> I didn't forget. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's, we got times. Plop. We're good. Times done. Now, let's actually look at something that is a little bit more like, grammar oriented so that we can get some actual like, grammar stuff that you can use. And I thought since we're going to talk about time anyways, why not talk about from to からまで It's a pretty good usage that fits in nicely with this topic that we talked about. So, let's talk about the two words からまで and So, from. And I'll do like a double arrow to. からまで These two kind of form a team. からまで They work quite nice. ゆりかごがゆりかごからえっ、ー、とこれはかばまでまでそうね Yeah, the kanji for まで From the Wait, what is Oh, is this Oh, from the Um, that's quite dark, isn't it?、Uh, from the crib to the grave? Will we see this? Yeah. Yurikago is the crib, right? From the cradle to the grave. Yeah, なんか。なんていうか。ちょっとだけ鬱って感じ。It's a bit depressing, this. Yurikago から墓場まで。But yeah, good example. From to. The start of a great rap verse, I guess. Started from the crib, now we're here at the grave.、Um, so, numbers are done for today. Yes,、um, all that's left is for you to review them, hopefully. So, we will do、uh, from. So, you have the word kara. And kara will show up again with、um, some other grammar that we're going to look at. But for today, we will learn kara as marking a starting point. Starting point. In time, okay, in time or space. It can be physical location or it can be time. This makes it sound very Doctor Who, but yeah. In time or space, kara, okay.、Um, from, all right. Just like from can mean from five o'clock or from here,、um, whatever here is, right? From. Kyo kara, so ne, from kyo kara. So you can have all kinds of examples here, like、um, Gamer Buddy posted in chat. You can have,、um, you can have kyo kara, which is. Wait, now I'm, now I'm messing things up. Kyo is actually like this.、Um, kyo kara, from today on, starting today. So marking the kyo today. As our starting point. Now remember, these two are particles, theoretically, right? They're, they're usually classified as particles. So they will affect the thing that is in front of them. So in this case, it will mark kyo as a starting point. Kyo kara. From today. From today. Starting today. Kyo kara. So kara marks a starting point. You can also say, if you have a time, you can say,、um, ichiji kara. From one o'clock. Or you could say, Gozen ichiji kara. From one a.m. Gozen ichiji kara. Gozen ichiji kara. From one o'clock. Jiku learn on a stream. Yeah, jiku kan.、Um, jiku means like time, time and space.、Um, jiku kan ga yugan deiru. Time and space are being warped. So that's basically kara. It marks a starting point. Ashita kara diet to suru. Yeah, I'll diet starting tomorrow. Ashita kara is the best one because、um, you just say it again the next day and it's still true. Ashita ni nareba. Ko. Ashita ni nareba. Mata. Ashita kara to yeba i. That's how it works. So that's kara. It marks a starting point. So now, obviously, made does the opposite. It marks an end point, an extent. Um, it marks how far we go. So, made. Made.、Um, so, end point. End point. Or to. From to, right? To or、um, until. 
or uh, up to all of these kind of up to so there's different ways of saying this like if i wanted to say um asamade until morning right asamade um asamade until morning asamade party wa zuzuku before by yeah before by as well so asamade how common is made versus made not super common it shows up every now and again you kind of have to go look for it um i don't think it's necessary that you know it but i mean you already know it so <laughs> like at this point it doesn't matter but it's not very common um i've actually rarely seen people use it online at all so yeah i've never seen that yeah so um you'll see it like very rarely maybe on a sign somewhere but that's about it uh made in an if statement uh if i uh, i don't do it until it's not an if statement or if wait like if i don't do it until you could but the if statement itself would need some other grammar that we haven't looked at yet so ne i eve will stream until morning but similar in the sense of before, right? Um, yes, it can be, right? Asamade can also mean until morning. Basically, um, let me let me draw some drawings now to explain this. So this is until or before. So basically, um, let's 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 have two places, okay? Let's have a house. have a house and let's have a school this is the school okay has a door as well um, so this is yeah um, call uh, blah, blah, blah. yeah house and this is got call okay um, ba -ba -ba. Uh, wait, that's not how you do uh, like this, if anything. Ki. Cool. Ne? Ie and gakko. Okay, school and house. Now with sentences. I've seen a beginner Anki deck with sentences. Sentences are nice. I wish I had a clock. <laughs> well, there you go. Ie and gakko. So this is our house and this is the school. If we start here, we can say... If, we, if our journey starts here and goes to the school, we can say... Ie made... Uh, sorry, we can say ie kara, right? Ie kara gakko made until like all the way up to the school. Gakko made. Gakko made. Okay. So this would be the full thing, right? Ie kara gakko made aruku to walk from the school, uh, to walk from the house to the school. But there's some other scenarios in which we may use made or kara. Um, for example. If you're, you know, if you start here and you're like somewhere, you're here right now. This is you, okay? You're all happy. You could say, Ie kara kimashita. I came from the house. So you, you just talk about where you came from, basically, right? You can be like, Ie kara kimashita. So it doesn't really matter where you are right now. You can be like, This is where I came from. I'm happy. Yes. Um, another example, if you just want to emphasize, um, if you basically want to emphasize this part of the journey, sono ma, like like this part of the journey theoretically is like gakko made no sono ma do desho gakko made no tabi or something. The this is like the all of this could be referred to as the gakko made no bubun or something. The part until the school. And then as soon as you are at the school, you're past that, right? So anything that is before the school is gakko made, is until the school. It goes until the school and then it ends, right? So um, in the same way, you could also have two points in time. Uh, you could have like three, like let's say 3 p.m. Toko, yeah. Right, so like gakko made no tabi would be toko, right? You're going to school. And you could have like 6 p.m. Okay, so 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. Um, the All the time that is from like any time before 6, like anything including everything here. Well, I guess we could like have this open, but anything including but 
are going until 6 p.m. would be uh, 6時まで, right? So anything here is oh, uh, 6時まで 6時までの時間 6時までの何か Anything that is before 6 is marked in this area, 6時まで So in that way, it can also mean like if you have a deadline, you can say like これは6時までしなきゃいかない、しなきゃいけない。I have to do this until 6, alright? It needs to be done before 6, right? So, in that way, you can also use made to mean like the whole amount of time before a certain point. Um, and then the same way, kara can be sort of the opposite of that. So, when you have uh, this, so kara can be sort of like this, where it's like anything past this point. You'd be like, sanji uh, kara, right? So you'd be like, um, wait, I can just do a three. <laughs> you'd be like, Sanji, Sanji kara, from three o'clock. Starting at three o'clock. Sanji kara. 6 p.m. comes before 6 p.m. though. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, 勉強が1時から4時までします。そうね。I hope this is close to right. This is correct. 勉強がyou could say benkyo wa in this case would be a little bit better, I feel like, because of some of the reasons we talked about last week. Like, you are talking about the, the matter of studying, the, the, the established concept of studying, so you can use the topic marker there just fine. Benkyo wa, because you're talking about this, the concept of studying as a whole is what you do on those times, um, and not a specific study of something. Like, ga makes it sound a little bit more specific in that case. If that's confusing to you, maybe watch last week's episode. You can get a bit of an insight and in got versus what. But yeah. Made e ni. Yeah. This unnecessary in that sentence. Uh, which sentence? Kara made shimas. I see no this. <laughs> which sentence are we talking about? Are we talking about? Um, oh, so because. So Gamer Buddy didn't use this in his sentence, but he's using. Um, Shimas, so that's already polite, so you didn't really need this because it's already a polite sentence, right? Benkyo wa or o. Mm, so ne, benkyo shimas. Mm, so ne, benkyo shimas. Mo ieru kara. Mm, yeah, so Ayafumi is saying that you could also say, benkyo ichiji kara yoji made shimas. Um, I feel like it has a little bit of a different nuance. It sounds like you're telling it to yeah, your parents or something. なんかこう両親に言う風に聞こえてくるかもね。その今日はえっと勉強何か何かなんかいやガーサウンドガーズ Anyway, so it all works too, but ga sounds a bit weird. Texer, hello, lad. Um, so that's kara made. Um, and then again, sometimes they show up alone, and sometimes you combine them. So sometimes you have, like in um, gamers' uh, example, benkyo wa ichiji kara yoji made. Chisu domo. Ah, Yuki Damara san, konnichiwa. You always have to add um, kan if you specify duration, the point in time, right? Yes. We learning Japanese? Yes, we are. Rokuji kara desu. But I mean, not, you can say rokuji kara desu, but then you're saying, if you say rokuji kara desu, that's like an answer to something like, um, kaigi wa itsu hajimemasu ka? Uh, or, kaigi wa itsu hajimarimasu ka? When does the meeting start? Right? Kaigi is a meeting. When does the meeting start? And then someone says, rokuji kara desu. It's from nine o'clock. Then you're using the copula this to say like it is that, so to speak, like it is starting at six. That that would work. Um, Reisha tochaku made jupun. Yeah, so jupun kan jupun. Hmm, I feel like that there's like uh, gray areas in there. Um, Reisha tochaku made. So until the time, um, the time until the train arrives, I would say like jupun kan feels like better to me but i don't know maybe they do say it like that in the announcement that could be <laughs> i don't know that gets a little bit confusing there with the when is it okay to leave out kan and when is it okay not to leave it? when is it not okay to leave it out it was a little bit more complicated but yeah that's basically the gist of it 
、uh, まで、right? You have from to, and again can be place in space or a place in time, like 家学校 like from home, 家から学校までの旅 the journey from your house to the school, or it can be、um, 3時から6時までの時間 The time, 時間 just means a, an amount of time or a time. 時間から時間まで。<laughs> yeah, from time to time. You would say 時々 but not 時間から時間まで。So, what Pinch brings up,、um, I know you said it as a joke, but、um, maybe we should clear it up for once and for all.、Um, 時間から時間までは何か人が言うと、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、So, if you want to catch up and、uh, go back all the way to the first lesson where we learned like very basic sentence structure and stuff, here's a YouTube link if you're interested. Feel free to check it out. And I do this once a week. So, you still have like a whole week to catch up. It's not actually that much, it's a few hours. All right. I think that actually concludes today's lesson. I feel like、um, I pumped. A lot of information into this lesson, but I think it's okay because a lot of it was just sort of vocab, right? So, in the first sort of、um, 40 minutes, we basically talked mostly about vocab with all the hours and dates and minutes and all that stuff. Just going through it basically once and for all, basically like looking at all these things.、Um, again, I,、uh, I encourage you to check out an article maybe like this or look up online like Japanese date and time. You can always find information if you forget one.、Um, Every day, try and learn at least one new word every week. Ooh, okay, nice. Yeah, try and keep at it. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, so if you want to be really, really specific, that would be like how many hours, minutes, and seconds before. But it's still new. What's that?、Um, what, what? I don't, salt basic, basic fact. I have never heard that word. Or maybe I have, but I can't tell that I have. Is that a real word? Enki. It's Enki. Ah, base.、Mm, yeah, because it's chemistry. <laughs> Basic fact. That's a good one. Good one there, Pinch. Got him good. Thanks for that one, eh? <laughs> real creative. All right. Hey, the stream will continue and we'll do some other stuff and you can keep asking questions, but.、Um, I will end the recording for now and see that I can upload this as well to YouTube sort of soon ish, hopefully. And、uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson as well. Next time is probably going to be a bit more grammary again. What happened to my hair? It's gone.、Uh, next week, we're going to do something a little bit more grammary. I've been thinking about doing a、um, te form of adjectives. So we're going to learn to link adjectives since we've already learned about adjectives. Um, and their basics, so let's learn a little bit more about adjectives. <laughs> Donate to give Eve's hair, it will grow back. But thank you for the bits, Tenten. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much for this, and I will、uh, see you in the next episode,、uh, which would be episode nine already, which means we've already been doing this for damn almost nine weeks. That's crazy, actually. I can't believe it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>